The England women's national football team has been governed by the Football Association since 1993, having been previously administered by the Women's Football Association England played its first international match in November 1972 against Scotland. Although most national football teams represent a sovereign state, as a member of the United Kingdom's home nations, England is permitted by FIFA statutes to maintain its own national side that competes in all major tournaments, with the exception of the Women's Olympic Football Tournament. England have qualified for the FIFA Women's World Cup four times, reaching the quarter-final stage on the first three occasions in 1995, 2007, and 2011, and finishing third in 2015. They reached the final of the UEFA Women's Championship in 1984 and 2009. History Early years The success of the men's national football team at the 1966 FIFA World Cup led to an upsurge of interest in football from women within England. The Women's Football Association WFA was established a few years later in 1969 as an attempt to organise the women's game. That same year, Harry Batt formed an independent English team that competed in the Fédération Internationale Européenne de Football Féminin European Cup. Bats team also participated in two FIEFF World Cups held in Italy 1970 and Mexico 1971, following an UEFA recommendation in 1972 for national associations to incorporate the women's game. The Football Association FA rescinded its 50-year ban on women playing on football league grounds. Shortly after, Eric Worthington was tasked by the WFA to assemble an official women's national team. England competed in its first international match against Scotland in Greenock on 18 November 1972, almost 100 years after the first men's international. The team overturned a two-goal deficit to defeat their northern opponents by three goals to two, with Sylvia Gore scoring England's first international goal. Tom Tranter replaced Worthington as long-term manager of the women's national football team and remained in that position for the next six years. Topic: 1979 to 1993. Progress under Reagan. Martin Reagan was appointed to replace Tranter in 1979. England reached the final of the inaugural European competition for women's football after beating Denmark 3-1 on aggregate in the semi-finals. Despite resolute defending, including a spectacular goal line clearance from captain Carol Thomas, the England team lost the first away leg 1-0 against Sweden, after a header from Pia Sundhaga, but won the second home leg by the same margin, with a goal from Linda Curl. England lost the subsequent penalty shootout 4-3. Teresa Wiseman saved Helen Johansson's penalty, but both Curl and Lorraine Hansen had their spot kick saved by Elizabeth Lighting. At the 1987 European Competition for Women's Football, England again reached the semi finals but lost 3 2 after extra time against holders Sweden, in a repeat of the previous final. The team settled for fourth, after losing the third place playoff against Italy 2 1. Reagan was sacked after England's 6-1 quarterfinal loss against Germany at UEFA Women's Euro 1991, which left them unable to qualify for the inaugural FIFA Women's World Cup. John Bilton was appointed as head coach in 1991 after Barry Williams's brief tenure. Topic: 1993-1998 FA involvement. In 1993, the FA took over the running of women's football in England from the WFA, replacing Bilton with Ted Copeland as national team manager. England managed to qualify for UEFA Women's Euro 1995, having previously missed out on the last three editions, but were beaten 6-2 on aggregate over two legs against Germany. Reaching the European semi-finals granted England a place at the World Cup for the first time. The team advanced from the group stages of the 1995 FIFA Women's World Cup in Sweden, but lost out again to Germany 3-0 in the quarterfinals. 1998-2013, development under Powell 
Hope Powell became the team's first full-time head coach in June 1998, succeeding her former coach Copeland. The European Championship expanded in 1997 to eight teams and moved from a biennial event to a quadrennial one. England qualified via the playoffs for the 2001 competition held in Germany, despite recording their biggest loss away against Norway 8-0 during qualification, but did not advance past the group stages. England automatically qualified as hosts in 2005, but again did not make it to the semi-finals. Qualification for the World Cup changed for the 1999 edition. European qualifiers were introduced, so that teams no longer needed to rely on advancing to the latter stages of the European Championship. England qualified unbeaten for the 2007 World Cup in China, winning Group 5 in the European qualifiers and recording their biggest win away against Hungary, 13-0 in the process, ending a 12-year hiatus from the competition. After coming second in their group, they advanced into the quarterfinals to face the United States but lost 3 0. In May 2009, central contracts were implemented to help players focus on full time training without having to fit it around full time employment. Three months later, at the European Championships in Finland, England marked their return to the recently expanded 12 team competition by reaching the final for the first time in 25 years. They advanced from Group C to the quarter-finals by virtue of being the top third-placed team, beating both the hosts and the Netherlands in the knockout stages on the way to the final. There they lost 6-2 to reigning champions Germany. England reached their third World Cup in 2011, having won Group 5 in their play-off 5-2 over two legs against Switzerland. In Germany, they topped Group B, ahead of eventual winners Japan. England were paired with France in the quarter-finals, with the match ending in a 1-1 draw. England had taken the lead with Jill Scott's chip, only to have Ellie's Busalia equalise with two minutes remaining. After extra time ended in stalemate, they lost the ensuing penalty shootout 4-3. Karen Bardsley had saved Camille Abilie's initial penalty but misses by Claire Rafferty and Faye White sent England out of the competition. Powell left the role in August 2013 after a poor showing at the UEFA Women's Euro 2013, with England bowing out early at the group stages. Topic 2013 to 2017 Sampson era. Mark Sampson succeeded Powell as England manager. England qualified for their third successive World Cup in August 2014 with a game to spare, winning all ten matches and topping Group Six. England played their first international match at the new Wembley Stadium, home to the men's national team, in a friendly against the reigning European champions Germany on the 23rd of November 2014. England had not played Germany since their heavy defeat in the European Championship final five years earlier. They lost the match 3-0, marking the 20th attempt at which England had failed to record an official win over Germany. At the 2015 FIFA Women's World Cup in Canada, England lost their opening group game to France but won their remaining group games against Mexico and Colombia, easing through to the last 16 to play 1995 champions Norway. A 2-1 win set up a meeting with hosts Canada in the quarter-finals. Despite facing not only a strong Canadian team but a capacity partisan crowd at BC Place in Vancouver, England progressed to the semi-finals of the Women's World Cup for the first time in their history with another 2-1 win. Playing reigning World Cup holders Japan in the semi-finals, England conceded a penalty kick, which Ayamiyama converted past Karen Bardsley. Japan then conceded a penalty as Yuki Ogimi clipped Steph Houghton and Farah Williams slotted it past Ayumi Kaihori to level the game. However, in the last minute of the game, Laura Bassett scored an own goal to send Japan through to the final. England eventually finished in third place by beating Germany 1 0 after extra time. England qualified for the UEFA Women's Euro 2017 in the Netherlands and won all three of their group games at the tournament. England beat France 1 0 in the quarter finals before meeting hosts and eventual champions, the Netherlands. In the semi finals, England conceded three goals without reply and were knocked out of the tournament. In September 2017, Sampson was sacked from his role as manager by the FA after evidence of inappropriate and unacceptable behavior was uncovered during his tenure at Bristol Academy. He was replaced by Phil Neville. Topic 2018 present Neville's arrival. After being appointed manager, Neville's first games in charge were at the 2018 Shebelieves Cup. 
In their first game, England defeated France 4–1, then had a 2–2 draw against Germany. They went into the final game against the United States with the opportunity to win the tournament, but they fell 1–0 to the U.S. Second place was the highest England has ever finished at the Shebelieves Cup. England continued with 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup qualification in 2018. On 6 April they played to a 0–0 draw against Wales. After the qualifying games in June, England and Wales were guaranteed the first two spots in qualifying Group 1. Competitive record World Cup England have qualified for the FIFA Women's World Cup four times 1995, 2007, 2011, 2015 and failed to qualify for three competitions 1991, 1999, 2003. The England team reached the quarter-final stage on three occasions, losing out to Germany in 1995, the United States in 2007 and France on penalties in 2011. In 2015, however, England earned the bronze medal for the first time, under Mark Sampson, by beating Germany in the third-place playoff. Asterisk draws include knockout matches decided on penalty kicks. European Championship England first entered the UEFA Women's Championship in 1984, reaching the final that year and in 2009. The team have reached the semi-finals on three other occasions 1989, 1995, 2017, but failed to make it out of the group stages in three other editions 2001, 2005, 2013. England did not qualify in 1989, 1991, 1993 and 1997. Asterisk draws include knockout matches decided on penalty kicks. Asterisk asterisk red border colour denotes tournament was held on home soil. Olympic Games England do not participate in the Women's Olympic Football Tournament, as the country does not have its own National Olympic Committee Members of its team have played for the Great Britain Women's Olympic Football Team at the 2012 Summer Olympics. Since England falls under the jurisdiction of the British Olympic Association, remit for an Olympic football team requires support from all four home nation associations. The Scottish Football Association SFA, the Football Association of Wales FAO, and the Irish Football Association IFA have all previously objected to the premise over fears that the team would erode the independence of their individual football associations. <laughs> Minor tournaments Team For all past and present players who have appeared for the national team, see List of England Women's International Footballers alphabetical. Caps, goals, and recent players may not be current as the FA does not maintain an easily accessible database of historical statistics. Topic. Current squad The following players were named to the squad for friendlies against Austria and Sweden on 8 and the 11th of November 2018 respectively. Head coach Phil Neville. Topic: <inaudible> Recent call-ups. The following players have also been called up to the England squad within the last 12 months. This list may be incomplete. Notes Pre equals preliminary squad equals topic records equals Carol Thomas was the first player to reach 50 caps in 1985 before retiring from representative football later that year having amassed 56 caps Farah Williams holds the record for England appearances having played 165 times since 2001 she overtook previous record holder Rachel Yankee in August 2014, in a friendly against Sweden. 
Yankee had passed Gillian Coulthard's 119 record England women caps in September 2012, in a European qualifying match against Croatia, and Peter Shilton's 125 record England international caps in June 2013, in a friendly against Japan. Alex Scott is currently the second highest capped female England player with 140 caps, followed by Karen Carney with 132 and Casey Stoney with 130. Rachel Yankee has the fifth highest number of England caps. Kelly Smith has scored the highest number of goals for England, with 46 over a 20-year international career. She surpassed Karen Walker's 40-goal record in September 2010, in a World Cup qualifying playoff against Switzerland. Topic. Most capped players Topic. Top goalscorers Topic. Captains Topic. Recent schedule and results All times are listed in GMT except where noted. Topic 2018. Topic 2019. Topic See also. Women's football in England England men's national football team Great Britain women's Olympic football team